Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your Tarot card of the day for Monday, October 28th, 2024. The card we have today is from an artist I haven't seen in a while. This is Anya Oren for the deck 78 Tarot Halloween, and today's card is Judgment. So many things we can say about this card and it's a very karmic one indeed a great deal of forgiveness here i have to say that first and you know the forgiveness i don't think it has anything to do with anybody else this is about you know forgiving yourself for anything and everything that you think has put you where you currently are because this is a card which brings major life-altering decisions rebirths often even a day of reckoning now what tends to happen is sometimes we see you know multiple uh, explanations or meanings which come up pl applying differently to different individuals i mean we're all obviously not going to have the same type of experience as each other every day but if you look around you you'll notice that there is a great deal of similarities in the paths in the patterns and the things which people are currently going through so anything at this point which allows a rebirth would certainly be welcome i really do feel that it needs to begin with some sort of forgiveness moon is still in virgo today and we have a lot going on as i mentioned yesterday we have two major aspects happening one being a trine between Mars and Neptune, and the other a square between Venus and Saturn. Oh boy, is the moon busy. So I would expect today to have many elements within it. We have a square with Jupiter, a sextile with Mercury, a trine with Uranus, in opposition to Neptune, a sextile with Mars, and a trine with Pluto. So, just as I said with this card, how many different ways it can translate for you it's really going to depend because each of these moon aspects only last a couple of hours and they start early enough in the morning that many of you are probably up and end right before midnight as the moon is getting ready to move into libra tomorrow in the wee hours so it's a lot to take in and things that could be decided along the way they might change again at a later date but it does have, like I said, a very karmic feel. And I would still be striving to maintain some type of balance and maintain a practical view with that Virgo moon. It, it's good for that, and it will help you not to get too carried away with much of anything. But forgiveness feels like the order of the day. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always... Have a great day.